Friday, so yeah, I'm vlogging a little bit later than normal, but Brian took the kids for me today. It's just been annoying going up and down the stairs in the morning um, when I drop off Dylan and then I have the girls. So yeah, that totally helps that he did that. And then I am editing. I need to um, post the favorites video and I this is one of the first videos I filmed yesterday of the six. So I just completed the edit, I'm saving it, and then the next video I need to work on is my crockpot video, which, by the way, I have to film the portion where I try the product, so I'm going to go, while this is saving, I'm going to go do that now, set up the crockpot, and put the ingredients in, and then babysit my niece when she comes in like 20 minutes. So I came down to film me unboxing the crockpot cuisine. And now I'm cooking the first meal. I'm going to make two today. This will take four hours. So let's see how it turns out. <laughs> I asked Brian, how do you know when the crockpot thing's done? He's like, it says four hours, so I'm assuming it just turns off by itself. I don't know. But I set my timer anyway. But look who's here. Uh, no, just the chicken. It says to add the beans and stuff later. Right? It's your birthday tomorrow. You're going to be one. One years old. This poor Bubba's is not feeling good. She's been like very irritable. Come here. Yeah, she only wants to be held because she has a low grade fever. Um, she won't eat, but she is drinking, so that's good. And, um, yeah. So, poor thing, because her birthday's tomorrow. Um, yeah, she won't let me put her down. Like, I had to do some stuff earlier. Um, well, earlier I had to eat, and then Brian, luckily, was holding her from me. She was, like, sleeping on and off. She didn't want to be put down. And then, um, it just reminded me, how did I do this with three under three? But then, before, I didn't really have work. I'm going to have work to do at home. And now that I do, I'm like, how do people do it with one and working from home? It's just, anyway, yeah. So she's, she's preparing me for when cold. So my crock pot stuff's almost done. It was already three and a half hours. And then I added the vegetables and the rice. And that has to cook for 30 minutes. I have the timer on. So that will be one of our things tonight. And then Brian is going to make um steamed sea bass i think he prepped his uh like his yummy sauce it smells so good he already prepped his sauce for it i'm so glad i got this notebook because it's really keeping me on track and then when i finish like you know notes on a page or i transfer it to another one and i just cross it out but um yeah i'm already trying to just finalize the last bit of stuff that's due for December. I think I have just two more things that I have to do. And then I'm like lining up my stuff, getting organized for January. Um, things that are due. Even though I know that I'm going to be having the baby soon, I still want to, you know, line up work to do from home still. Um... You know, hopefully I can pre-record stuff or do some blog posts if I can't film. So, um, you know, that I have just some income coming in, even though, you know, I'll be like on maternity leave for a short while from the dance school. At least I will still be able to continue working from home. So, yeah, that's my goal. I'm just trying to, I was just doing that notebook thing staying organized and um trying to follow up with what I can line up for January before the baby's here yeah and I'm like no when you're done I'm not even really nesting nesting because I have nothing to nest with I have to buy stuff I need I want to go to Ikea maybe when the kids are on break and get some new storage or new dressers 
So I have stuff to put the baby's things in. Poor Bubba's. So here's Brian's steamed sea bass with, I think, garlic and scallions. And then I'm going to turn this. Oh no, it's off now? Yeah. I think this is done. I'm going to taste it. So I just filmed the other, um, the portion of me showing it and I tasted it and it's really good. It's really, um, juicy and flavorful. That's what it looks like. Lemon herb chicken, I believe. So I'm actually, um, driving this car for the first time, the Hyundai Elantra GT. It's like cute and compact and it actually fits all of us because we drove it last night to the city. Um, yeah, so originally Brian was going to come with us to bring us to dance, but Dylan wants to stay home because he actually doesn't have dance today, just the girls have their food. And I love the dish from the crock pot. It was my first time making it and I think I told you guys I picked the lemon herb chicken. I was going to do a second one, but I don't have time, so I'm going to have to try out those the other um, cuisines another day, but I was impressed. So, considering everything's like frozen, but they do use all, you know, really good ingredients, um, it was really flavorful, juicy, uh, the beans weren't like soggy, you know, it was like, had a crunch to it. And surprisingly, as much as Dylan doesn't like other vegetables, he'll eat the green beans. He liked it too. So I, I, um, I recorded him on the DSLR for the for the video footage. But um, yeah, he liked it too. So hopefully the girls will later. Hopefully there will be some left when we come home later. Where's your glasses, Emily? Here. Yeah, we just got to dance you know? school. They're bringing the glasses. No. And they want to show people what. You don't need to wear glasses when you dance. Oh, help her open the door, please. It's cold, much colder today. <laughs> Try for a double. Push. One, two. Go, Evelyn! Six, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Up, 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 up. Yes. Up. Yeah. Up. Stay. Don't go forward. Up. Uh oh. <laughs> She's like, you look cute.